Hi guys, so a lot of you have been asking about how I get my hair curly like this uh, without using any heat products, so no straighteners or curlers, literally just my natural hair and I let it naturally curl. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this, it's so easy, I literally do it every night before I'm going to have my hair curly, um, so you won't be needing any of these. Okay, so I've actually washed my hair and towel dried it. Now, literally just taking a brush, and you know how they say people with curly hair shouldn't brush their hair? Actually, all those rules go out the window. So I dyed my hair blonde again, and I'm just literally combing it all the way through. And that will add to the volume, okay? And then literally, the next thing, all I'm gonna do is take all my hair and scrape it all the way up to the top. This is the easiest thing ever, guys. I do it all the time. It's best to do it at like night time before you go to sleep. So comb it all the way through. I twist it all and then bring it round. And I put the first lot into the nut. Like that and just push it down so it's nice and tight and then keep this bit all curled and just bring it all the way around and then secure it with a bubble and that is literally it so now i'll give you an update on my skin so recently you may have seen on my snapchat and my instagram and stuff that i had an allergic reaction um, I came back from holiday and I don't know how or why but my skin reacted. I think it had a reaction to the sunlight because um, I was lying in the sea on that flamingo right there and I think the direct UV sort of affected my skin so when I came back to the UK my skin was like out of the sun and having a rest and just blistered up so um, yeah I had to have some best of medication, I was on antibiotics and took some cream, which if any of you have acne, try acne aside. Um, you can get it from all supermarkets behind the counter and that really works wonders for my skin. I still use it, so I've got a few spots still left. Um, Cause where I'm getting, I get like stress outbreaks. But at the moment it seems to be working okay. So what I've been doing is literally just using tea tree oil and rubbing that into my skin. It's quite drying, so then I use bio oil on any sort of marks that I rub it in and then moisturize in the daytime so put the tea tree oil on at night time and then in the daytime I use a moisturizer so yeah the acne side can be quite drying as well so I make sure I use quite a hydrating cream but not too much so yeah I like to use something quite um, pH balanced which E45 is really good or something just quite light whatever you find works for you just use that in the daytime and then tea tree oil at night honestly and even a little bit underneath my makeup sometimes just so that I can make sure the makeup's not gonna clog my pores and the tea tree can like stop any bacteria and things like that because it's like antibacterial. Yeah, so that's a little update on my skin. I'm gonna keep my hair like this now. I am uh, running a few errands today, so I'm literally just gonna leave my hair like this and then it'll be nice for the week and I can have my hair curly. Yeah, so that's it guys. I'll show you how it looks um, after this. So I just take the top knot out and then just make my hair nice and curly. I like to wear mine over the side so I smooth this over with some hairspray. Yeah, and then that stays nice and sleek because obviously I haven't put any heat on my, my hair. So it can get quite frizzy when it's in its natural form. So that's why I just put some hairspray over it and I like it to go over the side for a bit of volume as well. And then that's it, perfect summer hair. <laughs>